Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone the mad programmer here in the last tutorial we covered user input and different data types in case you haven't watched that click on this link appearing on the screen or if anything was unclear in that video feel free to comment and in today's tutorial we will be covering automatic operators what are they how we use them and why we need them in our program without further ado let's get started guys make a layout like this in case if you're typing with me that will be better to understand that way now before we start typing in our code let me tell you what operators are operators are basically symbols that tell the compiler to perform specific mathematical logical manipulations and the mathematical manipulations count such as addition subtraction multiplication division anything that we can do with a calculator basically we use these to make calculations in the program or to make a simple calculator in C++ and the logical manipulations are basically performed by special symbols which you'll be covering in our later videos and one last thing before we start typing in the code here is a list of automatic operators <clears throat> there's the addition operator which basically adds two operands there's a subtraction operator which basically subtracts two integers as one might say then there's multiplication one which multiplies two numbers then there's a division one which divides two numbers then is the modulus operator this basically remind uh, gives a remainder of an integer <clears throat> after a division now all these operators above they are binary all these operators above are binary operators since they take an argument on both sides now these are unitary operators the increment and decrement operator the increment one increases the value by one and the decrement one decreases the value by one there are two ways to use them one is the prefix way in which we first which is as shown in the sorry the postfix way which is as shown in the example and the other is the prefix in which we first write the operator then we write the integer in the prefix one the value the new value is printed first but in the postfix the old value is printed and then the new value is printed in this tutorial we will be covering the prefix one and the po and the postfix one we will use in our later on videos now let's type the code i take two integers over here such as int a is equals to 5 comma and int b is equals to 7 now suppose i want to add these two numbers always try to make your code as understandable and neat as you guys can this will help you guys out a lot now simply to add them we'll just write a our integer plus our other integer the one we want to add with and last but not least we'll be adding an end all over here since we'll be performing all the functions together Now let's do some changing. We may subtract these ones. Then let's multiply them. And last but not least, let's divide them.
now that we use the binary operators let's also use the urinary operators this is a postfix operator since first we are writing the increment operator then we can write the integer which we will be writing over here a oops forgot to write and all and let's decrement the value of b now let's build our program and see what we guys get we have successfully performed our arithmetic operations as you guys can see 5 plus 7 is 12 5 minus 7 is negative 2 5 into 7 is 35 5 divided by 7 is 0 and then incrementing 5 gives us 6 and decrementing 7 gives us 6 again now suppose if I were to write a prefix operator and then a postfix this is so you guys can see the difference between them first we got 5 the original value because in pre in postfix the original value is printed first and then the value changes when you see out it again so original value got printed first the, but the value was incremented so an additional 1 got stored in 5 a is now equals to 6 and when we incremented a again the 6 became a 7 to clear any doubts let me write over here the new value of a and now let's run this program again as you can see first postfix a incremented gives us 5 the new one got stored in a so the new value of a is now 6 and when we pre fixed incremented the value of a we got 7 So basically guys this is all for today's tutorial if anything was unclear feel free to comment and if you guys found this video to your liking please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and in the next tutorial we will be covering if statements with multiple if statements with different selection structures thank you